If your nib's too slow and your ink won't flow, here's one of the places that you can go. Larry is here to help you through with Mr. Announcer and Cubby too. It's Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Hi folks, Larry here. Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pen Reviews. And uh, today I'm going to be reviewing the color fountain pens. And you got eight colors here for five bucks. And a special thank you to Kara Overman for gifting me these pens. Appreciate it. So now, let's talk about these pens. Five bucks. Uh, eight nice looking colors. So, they come in a plastic uh, casing. So let's open it up and let's see what we got going on here. So uh, let's start with uh, oh, this would be a purple and uh, there's a gray. So, so we're going to start with this one right here and we're going to weigh it first. Uh, they're made in China and you can buy them here in the States probably at a, oh, at a, at a novelty, novelty bookstore or something like that. Uh, and let's see what they weigh. Now I'll give you the length of that pen in a minute. They weigh in at 11.7 G's. A light pen. Looks nice. Feels pretty cool for a plastic pen. And uh, the length of the pen is... 5.43 inches. All right. So, you got a nice looking pen here. Um... Uh, plastic clip and it should go on fine. You have to kind of open it up. Let's see if you one of those that work in your pocket. It's going to stay securely in there. Just uh, don't do a whole lot of pull on it because you don't want to break the uh, clip off. Uh, so at the top of the cap, same color. It's got some lines here. On the very top, I get just a cosmetic look. And then we go down the barrel. There's a section part here, kind of thins out. And I'm going to assume it posts. So let's pull off the cap, correct. And it does post very securely. So, as you go down the barrel, there's just a slight step off, not much, to the grip section. You have a nice grip section right there. Also plastic. And uh, it's got some kind of ridges here on the grip. I guess so you can, your fingers can not slide off the grip. It is plastic. It does feel comfortable in the hand. Um, I mean, you're getting, what, eight pins for five bucks? That's a good buy. Let's go down the, uh, to the nib. And the nib doesn't have any kind of markings whatsoever. And then we look at the feed, nothing there. So, I mean, so what do you expect for, you know, five bucks? You're getting eight pins for five dollars. That's pretty good pot uh, buy there. Let's untwist the barrel, I mean the grip, and what's inside should be a cartridge. And what is cool about this, the cartridge is the same color of the pen. So we're going to put it in. slide out of my chair. Get a little click. It went into there. So, now, my question about this, can this be made into an eyedropper? No, because there's a little hole on the end there. If you stop up that little hole, you might can be able to. So, we'll give that a few seconds to go down to the feed. And, uh, So, Mr. Nelson, can you get the colors? Okay, let's guess here. Uh, pink, peach, yellow, mint green, light turquoise, and uh, deeper pink. Yep. 
So that's what we got going on here. Got some nice cool color. A nice cool kind of looking spring kind of colors there. Uh, and it's got the directions on the back of the package to tell you, you know, it tells you number one, unscrew and separate the barrel. Then it goes, you know, number two, three, four, it tells you the whole thing, which I just did. Uh, so, and then we have one you didn't mention is the gray. The gray, yes. He was looking at the gray. So that's the other one. I thought there was one missing. So, what's pretty cool about this set is, I, what I like about this set is that they have the cartridges, the colors that's going to match the, the pen. So that's cool. So let's see if the ink's going down to the nib yet. Yes, look at that. Bam, look at that. That is nice. So let's do some writing. Uh, <clears throat> was that a standard cartridge? Uh, I have to look. Nice color of ink. It has good ink flow, but no hard starts, no skips, decent nib, wetness, it lays down the ink, you have a medium nib here, here's a downstroke, and then the cross stroke, a downstroke with a bit of pressure, no pressure, and you get a tiny bit difference of line variation. So let's go back and look at the cartridge. So I'm thinking you can probably use the uh, standard long cartridges in this, but also you can always uh, use the same cartridge over just to get a syringe and put in your favorite ink into the cartridge. Uh, now I have not checked to see if it will hold or fit a converter. Uh, I might do that later when I do an update review on these pens because uh, that's what I like to do a update review after I review a pen to see how that pen is working you know three weeks from now a month from now six weeks from now uh, to see how much I enjoy the pen but you know you can't go wrong for the price great value uh, th these are the kind of pens if you lose it you're not out of uh, a lot of money at all. Uh, you can give one to friends, get somebody interested into fountain pens. This would be the one to give right here. Uh, definitely a very nice pen. You can't beat it for the buck. Nice colors of ink in it. Good flow. No problems whatsoever with the pen. So, hey, that's going to wind it up. With the color fountain pens, you get eight different colors for five bucks. So, that's going to wrap up today's review. When you're out shopping, you go to uh, bookstores, uh, or you go to uh, like uh, like Michaels, whatever that be called, Michaels Hobby Lobby. Oh. Michaels would be of what now? Uh, well, they're both uh, arts and crafts stores. Yeah, you can go arts and craft places, try, check out the stock in there and see uh, if they carry any pens because uh, a lot of times they do. I know uh, Barnes & Noble's carries uh, uh, pens as well. Um, Faber-Castell and some other ones, I forgot the name. Uh, Lamy. Lamy and Oli, I believe, at one time. Didn't they carry that? I think, yes. At one time. That was a good fountain pen as well. Folks, that's going to wrap it up today. Larry's Fountain Pen Review. Thanks for coming to join me today. My main man, my main man. I'm all over the place. And time to get out of here and wash them hands. Peace. Love. I'll check you later. And don't forget, please, don't text and drive. See ya.